Hey you guys. Let me see. <clears throat> I don't know why. Hey you guys. Give me just a second. Let me I'm sitting in a new chair and it's a lot higher, so I know my camera's not, not centered correctly, but that's fine, it is what it is. Um, so as you guys know, today, David Eason was due in court um, for the assault charges against James Spivey. I think that's how you say his last name. Yes, this is my new stool and it swirls and it's tall and I decided I would use it to film, but it puts me up a lot higher. So I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but welcome to the chat, Redneck Girl. We're just going to go over what happened today in court. It wasn't really a lot. It's it, like, I do believe this was just um, like where they make their plea, basically. Hey, Candy. So what I'm going to do, uh, what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and read you guys like the update of what happened, the only updates that we really have about what happened today. And then we'll talk about it for a little bit and then we'll go off and I'll come back and we'll just have like a hangout chat. That way I don't keep this stream too long. Um, hey, hey, hey everyone. Oh, thank you. Hey Heath. So, today David had to go to court. Now, it does say here that Janelle was not able to stand by her man, like stand beside David at court today. So, I don't know if that means like she she didn't go with him or she just wasn't allowed to go up there and sit with him as he like went before the judge. I guess maybe that would make more sense. They really can't. Honestly, with the COVID situation, they may not have allowed her to go. I'm really not sure. I'm going to read you guys what the Ashley put out about it. And as you guys know, like, the Ashley usually gets, like, court documents. They usually have inside knowledge of everything that's going on. This is still, this is not the end of what's happening um, with this situation. So, eight hours ago, the Ashley um, put out an article that David did go to court today. They... Um, I think they had to be there at like 9 o'clock, and he was the first case, I think, that was that was actually seen. So, he has two charges that he obtained last, obtained last month. Um, and it says, Mr. Janelle Evans went before the judge in Whiteville, North Carolina, at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, the Ashley can confirm. The Ashley's court source tells her that Janelle was not allowed to stand by her man in the courtroom. David is facing one misdemeanor count of communicating threats and one misdemeanor count of assault with a deadly weapon, that being the pistol where he hit him in the back of the head. It does say that David did have an attorney there to represent him. So they they did hire a lawyer to represent David in this situation. Um, it does say that that is important. As you guys know, that Janelle and David was hit with a $46,000 tax lien last month and now it is being speculated that her car has been repossessed we don't know that for sure you know a lot of people um i don't know what to think about the car situation i did look at some pictures that she uploaded to instagram and little videos from like the fourth of july and i did not see like her car in the driveway or anything also janelle being janelle i feel like if her car was at her house she would take a picture and post it just to like shut down the rumors, shut down, you know, the haters or whatever. She would say, bam, here's my car. I know that one time when somebody tried to say that my car was about to be repossessed, that's what me and Sean talked about doing. It was like, you know what, in a couple months, we'll just take a picture of our car and post it on social media to say, bam, here's our car, it's not repossessed. So, I'm kind of leaning more towards maybe her car has been repoed, but then it's like, David did have an attorney with him today, and it was not a court-appointed attorney. It was an attorney that he paid for, um, and you guys, attorneys are not cheap. Just the retainer can be anywhere from like five to ten thousand dollars in most cases. So, also, I'm going to note that it's not the same attorney who represented them in the CPS custody case last year. 
Um, the charges stem from an incident that occurred on, la on the land last month where Janelle brought her friends, James and Josh over. And um, David said, I'll blow your brains out. And he pistol whipped James. Um, and we all know about what happened there. They went to help Janelle get the kids and to get their her things. And David come out in a towel. He had just taken a bath. And he went in, comes back out with his jeans and a gun. And according to what is said, he thought they took his keys. So he become irrational. He started threatening, said he would blow their brains out. And a altercation took place that led to the arrest. We know all of that. Um, David did file charges on James, claiming that James hit him with a railroad spike coat rack. Now, have you guys seen the picture of the, of the coat rack? It looks like, I think David actually made it. And I actually have a coat rack up there, but it's literally stuck to the wall. But it's about this big. It's black. And the, the rack part of it, like that you would hang your coat on, it's literally like spikes. So that is what David is saying that James hit him with. James was charged with assault with a deadly weapon as well. And he had, um, his court date was today as well. He was appointed an attorney to represent him. Um, a county clerk confirmed to the Ashley. So, um, he showed up in court today and today he was given a court appointed attorney to represent him for his charges. Both James and David had to appear and the court ordered that David be fingerprinted. So, um, I'm not sure why they fingerprinted him. I don't know. Cause usually, I don't know. It's really weird. Usually when you're arrested, they go ahead and fingerprint you then, right? So the fact that they fingerprinted him, I don't know. It kind of confuses me. <clears throat> and they actually said they don't, they don't know if that was done today or if that will be done at a later date. Hey, Emily, if I missed any of my members coming into the chat, I do apologize. Once I give you guys this update, I'll come back and, and speak to everyone. Hey, Miss Leah, David's case was heard first. He was the first case of the day. And James's case was heard two cases later. It was very cut and dry. They were both in and out. Both cases were continued until Wednesday, July 29th. And both James and David are scheduled to go before the judge again on that date. It will be decided if the case will go to trial or be dropped. So that is the court clerk actually told the Ashley that on the 29th. So it looks like today was just an arraignment maybe where they made a plea of guilty or not guilty. And then on the 29th, they will go back where um, they'll make their final, they will make their final plea. This is just me speculating based off what I know about how uh, court goes. Usually the first time you go, you get your court appointed attorney. If you don't have one, you plead guilty or not guilty. Most always, I've always been told that you plead not guilty the first time. That's what I've always been told. Um, that the first time you go, you always be not guilty, even if you are guilty. And if you guys remember on Mama June, when she sat down with Pumpkin, she said, Hey, Lindsay. She said, um, Hey, Kels. I think I said, Hey, Miss Leah, but in case I didn't, Hey, Miss Leah. Um, one of the things that Mama June said is that when they went for their first um, court date, that she pled not guilty. And Pumpkin said, why did you plead not guilty? You're guilty. And she said, well, that's what you do. And that's what I've always heard as well. So I think that's what happened today. And I think on the 29th, they will go back and that's where they will make their final plea. And at that point, they can either agree, like go to trial or they will um, take a plea deal possibly. Like David could take a plea if the prosecutor offers him something that he's willing to take up. If the prosecutor offers him like jail time and he don't want to serve that. He may say, no, let's go to court. Let, let's take, take this to trial. Um, so that's what I look to happen in the upcoming weeks with the situation. Um, also, as you guys know, this is not going to be David's only trip to court this month. He is also doing court, um, in new Hanover County on July 28th. So July 28th, he has to go to court in a different location and that's um, on a misdemeanor charge of, of injury to personal property and one charge of tampering with a vehicle. And that's where he pulled that guy's truck out of a parking spot. And the next day, 
he would go back to make his final plea, I guess, in the situation for the assault with a deadly weapon. Um, so, I have kind of been keeping up with this situation from, you know, day one. As soon as it happened, I was keeping up with it. And then I spoke to Josh and James and they kind of, you know, they don't really give much info because of everything that's going on or whatever. They don't give anything more than probably what they need to or what they should. And, oh, hey, Karina. Hey, Emily. So, um, I feel like my head is like kind of spaced out today. Anyways, um, so they went to court today. It was very like in and out. It's, I'm kind of confused. Crazy Christy for Ransom. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Love your channel. Hope you're doing well. We need more creators like that. Oh, thank you so much. I've kind of... Um, thank you. I really do appreciate that. So, they were very in and out. And to me, I think they just put in their first plea, which I'm sure they both play, made a plea for not guilty. It seems like... Um, James got a court-appointed attorney, and David brought his own attorney. That kind of worries me a little bit, because in my personal opinion, from what I know, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, if you know a lot about the judicial system and how that works, but I feel like a court-appointed attorney don't really fight for you. Am I wrong in saying that? Or do you guys feel the same way? I know when I was arrested, obviously I'll bring that up. Um, not, you're not that late. When I was arrested, I was actually, when I spoke to, when I went to my attorney, um, and we spoke about, you know, before I actually hired him, when we first met to discuss what had happened, and I discussed, you know, the possibility of me going with a court appointed, a court appointed attorney. He said, you don't want to do that, and I'm not just telling you that to take your money or anything, but they don't really fight for you. And that may just be the area that we live in. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, I feel like, you know, they're not being paid, so they may be a little lazy, whereas, like, if they were getting 10 to 15 grand from you, they're going to put in more effort to work on your, your case, you know what I'm saying, to make sure you get justice for whatever happened to you, so I do kind of, the fact that David and Janelle, they, they put down the money to hire him a lawyer. And, you know, James is going in with a court-appointed attorney. I hope that doesn't interfere with them getting justice because I do feel like, um, you know what, you may have to pay here. I don't know. I just know from what I understand, I've always thought that they were free. I don't know. You may have to pay, like, legal fees and some of it will go to, towards the attorney, but you're not paying them what you would pay your attorney if you go out and hire one that, you know, so I think there's a big difference. I mean, I think anybody, if they're doing a job where they're only paid $150, you know, um, versus 10 grand, you might do a better job for, you know, for the 10 grand. I don't know. So, we don't know um, what the pleas were actually. I think I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out a little bit more into that. Maybe I'll call tomorrow. Maybe I'll call the clerk of court to see if, you know, any they can give me any any information on that. Oh, dang it, Candy. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I actually own a little bit earlier than normal, so I was like, we were able to get the kids in bed. Well, Sean kind of was. Um, depends on rules where you live. They are paid by the government by some of them. They're really good. I know, like, when I was arrested, I was terrified, you know, to not have an attorney that I felt like would fight for me, you know, because we we talked about a court-appointed attorney several times just because hiring an attorney was going to be so costly. So, we talked about it, but I was like, I really just don't feel comfortable with that. And everybody that I spoke to was like, no, 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 hire an attorney. So, um... Thank you, Shelly, Sh Shell Belly. I have a cousin, and we used to call her name. I have a cousin. Her name is Shelly, and we used to call her Shell Bell. Um, so there, it isn't really 
much of an update of what happened, which I kind of figured that. Oh, thank you, Emily. $16.99. Thanks for posting on Facebook about you going live because Kales and I don't get the notifications on YouTube. I have a new Twitter account. It's LBass underscore official. I only have about 80 followers right now. I'm trying to build my Twitter back up to what it was. I think my old Twitter has close to 2,000 followers, but I lost that account when I got the new phone. So, um, I have a new Twitter and I'm going to try to remember to start posting on the Twitter and on the, the, um, Facebook fan page before I go live. So, for those of you guys that don't get a notification, hopefully you'll see the notification somewhere. Also, I'm posting on the community tab of my YouTube channel. Fairy Dusted 999. Thank you, Fairy Dusted. I really do appreciate um, all of all of the super chats. That really um, means a lot. The Twitter is L Bass. I think I said L B, but it's L Bass underscore official. Oh my God, I hate having a new phone. I can't get into anything. Yes, I was actually lucky because I actually thought that I was gonna lose everything, but about a weekend of me having a, my new phone, I had about 6,000 pictures pop up, which was really awesome because um, I had a lot of pictures that I didn't wanna lose. What's crazy is some of the pictures that I deleted back in December out of anger, out of being mad, I was like, I'm deleting everything to do with to prove blah, 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 blah. I actually got a lot of those back, so that was pretty. that was pretty awesome. Um, I love cosmic brownies. I tried to follow new. So, not a lot that happened. I posted on my community tab earlier that I was going to go live and give you guys an update. Just in case you guys don't want to have to search through the internet to find out what happened. Because there isn't a lot of articles about what happened. I've only found one article to update us on what happened today at court. And that was the Ashley. So, I did make a community post and I decided to go live you know, just to give you guys that update. Um, and somebody was like, oh, what well, wasn't a lot that happened? And they told a few details. And I was like, no, don't tell. Because <laughs> then I don't have a reason to go live and do the video. Um, but yeah, that was it. On July 28th, he's going to be back in court for the self-towing incident. And then the 29th, he'll be back in court for this incident, the assault charges. And we're just going to see it play out, you guys. We're just going to... um as the details come out, I'll bring them to you. I, I do think, I feel like um, David's going to be offered some type of plea deal. And if he's not happy with the plea deal, if it involves jail time, I feel like he's going to try to fight it and they'll probably end up going to trial. Um, also, the fact that like James was charged with assault with a deadly weapon as well. Um, I'm very curious to see how that's going to play out. I don't know if we know that David has a history and he's been arrested a few times. I don't really know about James, but some of their punishment may also depend on like their background and how much trouble they've been in. You get what I'm saying? So we'll just kind of see. That's something else, Janelle. You know, James is the guy that was pistol whipped. Yeah, I do think. You're welcome, Fairy Dusted. That's why I do it for you guys. So you don't have to look it up. Um, I do think what the prosecutor offers them for a plea deal may have a lot to do with, like, their history. You know, um, and that's just anywhere and everyone. Usually, if you get arrested for something, a lot of the times, the judge will look into if you've gotten any trouble before, you know. Hey, T Queen. Oh, uh, thank you, Lindsay. Miss Leah for $10. I sure hope David spends some time in jail. I agree. My thing with this is, um, and I don't wish jail on people normally because I've been, and let me tell you, it ain't no, it, it is no joke. It's not fun. Um, but, what I wish for David is that he would just see that he can't just do things to people like that. Like, you just can't pistol whip somebody in front of your kids just because you think they moved your keys. You know, like he, David has to bring it down some notches and realize that he is an adult. He 
he's not a child. He can't throw little fits because he thinks someone moved his keys. He needs to bring it down and he needs to get punished for the things that he's done so he will realize that it's unacceptable to go around hitting people in the head with a gun while your kids are present at that. Those are things that will cause you to lose your kids. And if you love your kids, you want to do everything you can to protect your kids and to keep them in your home with you so you can raise them and love them. And I don't think he thinks of that. Like when he was mad and he had that gun in his hand, I don't think he ever thought about the fact, like, should I be doing this in front of my kids? I think he cared more about showing, you know, Janelle and James and Josh like, um, what he could do, basically, you know? You guys get what I'm saying? So, he's gotten away with, right, he's gotten away with a lot already. And, um, psyched for life, for life, uh, yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. At this point, he's dangerous. And that is where my concern is. Like I said, I, um, he needs to be punished. He needs to see that he can't just get mad over any little thing and hit someone, especially in front of the kids. Like you cannot take out a gun and hit someone in front of the kids. My thing is it would be one thing. Hey, Nicole. I can't say it, but just wanted to hop on and say, okay, thank you. Um, he just went to court today for like, I think it was his arraignment. So I'm just giving the update on what happened with that. Um, not a lot though. He just went, he was the first case that was seen. It was in and out. It, it said that Janelle wasn't there to stand by his side. So I don't know if they're saying she wasn't there or she just couldn't go forward with him. But you know what? Something else. There's no pictures. There's no pictures of them going in and out of court. And, um, I was kind of thinking you know, that paparazzi may show up at court, but it looks like they didn't. It looks like they were able to go to court, get out, and not be seen by paparazzi. I think one year in jail for David. Give time for Janelle. <laughs> Betty Evans, that's a good way to look at it. Being the first case shows how much pull his lawyer had. Because even the paparazzi don't like them. While they keep up kind of with what's going on, I, I think, yeah. You're right. I agree. I agree. Yeah, when I had Josh on, you know, that day, we were talking about the fact that, you know, paparazzi may be there. And they may have to go in court through, um, through like a side door. Which, you know, thinking about the CPS custody case, when they went to court for that... The only paparazzi that I think was there was TMZ had someone there. I don't think it was like a ton of paparazzi. So they were still able to walk freely, you know, in and out of the courthouse. And the paparazzi asked them questions, but they weren't like too in their face or anything um, that I can remember. Well, I, I, the reason I'm reporting it is because everybody knew that he had court today. Um, when I had Josh on, we talked about the fact that they were going to court on the 6th. So, I mean, one of the things that I thought about when I woke up today is I wonder what happened in court. So, I figured a lot of people, you know, was wondering. Didn't shave room go to a hearing? I may be imagining that myself. Possibly. That's very possible. Hey, 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 Maria. So, um, but I was thinking, you know, I wonder if we're going to see some pictures of them going in and out of court. We didn't. So, it looks like maybe no paparazzi showed up for this one. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. See, I'm the type of person, I like going to court hearings just to go, just because I'm nosy. So, if I lived close enough, I probably would have went. Oh, I get you, Brandy. Oh, okay. Um, Lisa, we're talking about the 
pistol whipping situation where he pistol whipped the guy that was going over to help Janelle get her things. Um, today, he had to go to court for the first time for that. It was just like an arraignment. From what my understanding was, it was just an, arra an arraignment. He had his attorney there. Um, and it was an attorney that he paid. It was not a court-appointed attorney. And it was just kind of in and out. So, he has to go back on the 28th of this month for that. Janelle got in hot water for bashing people who wear masks. One person lost a loved one. Overcome. That is... Will I do another interview with him? Angela, you know what? Um, now, we were planning on doing something maybe after court, but... I've really been trying to figure out which way I want to take, which direction I want to take my channel. And I'm kind of leaning more towards of just reporting the news and not focusing on trying to get interviews right now. I feel like my channel is too small to worry about that right now. Um, because a lot of times, like, well, a lot of people don't know me. Like, a lot of people that I cover, they don't know me. Some here and there do. I talk to some, you know, um... I mean, people that I've watched on TV for 10 years, there's some that I talk to that I text back and forth to. And, you know, but as far as like, if I'm concerned with trying to get interviews, that kind of takes over me. And I'm like, oh, I need to get an interview. I need to get an interview. And it kind of stresses me out. So I would rather just worry about putting up my content and not worry about trying to, you know, get interviews right now. Like, I want to build my channel and then maybe later I'll do interviews. So, probably not. I don't know. Um, thank you, D. Amanda, for the sticker, $3.99. Thank you so much. The interview was good, though. Thank you. I do appreciate that. He did not get the lawyer. He did not get the money for the lawyer from his Etsy. Like I said, so sad what she is. Yeah, my thing is, is like, I get it. Some people don't want to wear their mask. They don't believe, you know, some people think this is just like a big hoax that, you know, I understand that. I have friends that, you know, they're not going to wear a mask. And that's their decision if they don't want to wear a mask. I'm not going to knock them if they don't wear a mask, want, to wear, want to wear a mask. But I like to wear a mask. Um, I have, from the very beginning, I have masks. Actually, I had a mask before this happened. I would buy a mask um, for, like, changing poopy diapers. And I know some people's going to be like, what? But my kids have stomach issues, so sometimes it can be, you know what I'm saying? So, when it first started happening, I was like, wear a mask, wear a mask, wear a mask. Um, so, I believe in the wearing the mask. My children's, Paris and Caden's grandparents have COVID-19 right now, and, um, their grandfather's in the hospital and he's not doing well. He's in a pressurized room. He has pneumonia. Um, he's not well and he has it. Their grandmother has it as well. She's at home, but still. Um, I would rather just, I have children. I don't want to put them at risk of anything. And I know people that have it. My cousin, she has it. Um, my grandparents have it. Um, my cousin's baby, who's about six months, has it. It's gotten pretty bad around here lately. Since, like, the reopening, it's, I know tons of people with it now. Some of them are not in the hospital. Some of them have been told to stay home until their, um, their symptoms get really worse. So, like, they can't breathe, basically, and then go. I have many relatives that. Yeah, so, you know, I would rather be safe than sorry. And I'm not going to pick on you for not wearing one or for wearing one. I'm from Louisiana. So that is the update on what happened with Janelle and David in court today. Um, I don't know. If this goes to trial, it may work out. Oh, thank you, V. Have you guys ever heard of... Um, there's... Like, a wife cannot testify against her husband. I don't know if that's strictly, like, in a murder case or what that is. Sean, you're on here and you know a lot about this. Oh, thank you, Sean. And thank you, V. But if this was to go to trial, I wonder... You know, because Janelle is a witness. But 
if that's true in every case, she may not like she may not be able to testify like against David to say what he did do. It's So that could actually help them, like if they do go to court, the fact that she can't testify against him. I don't know. If it's not a violent crime, I think. Yeah. No wife has to testify against husband. I don't think they'll let her testify. I did not know that. Can testify? I think children can. Actually, yes, children can, because I know of incidents where children have testified. So yes, children can, but spouses do not have to testify. You can't force a spouse to testify against their spouse. Like I've heard of situations where couples have gotten married uh, to keep, so they don't have to testify against each other. I used to watch Dawson's Creek. My sister actually, my sister Stephanie, when she was in high school, she was told a lot that she looked like Katie Holmes. Hey, hey, hey. So, um, I own Kelly S. You didn't get the notification. She did fill out a rep Yes. Yes. And Janelle called the police that day several times from what I understand. From what I understand, there are phone 911 calls, you know, that um, nobody has gotten a hold of yet. But they are there. I feel like the courts will have them that may be used as evidence as well. And um, from what I understand, Janelle called the cops herself. And so did, I think, James. So there's more than one, more than one 911 call. And they, they can use that as evidence. Depending on what all she said in that 911 call. She may not have to testify against him, but they may, they may very well bring in um, the 911 call. I don't think she will. I don't think she will. Hey, honey badger. Yeah. I just wish that he would kind of get it together and realize that He's not an, a good influence on the kids, doing the things that he's doing like that. He's not. He, my thing is, like, if somebody was to break in our house and Sean pistol whip somebody in front of our kids because they broke in our house, that's one thing. But if, you know, if I was trying to move because me and Sean were having issues and I brought two friends with me and Sean couldn't find his keys, if he jerked his pistol out and pistol whipped the guys that I brought to help me move, that would be a whole other situation you know what I'm saying so yes they also have the pictures because James they did take pictures of James injuries uh, that was actually put out in the first report that come out of the situation Josh is his name is James and Josh yes the two guys involved can definitely testify they will testify i'm sure if this goes to trial now when they go back to court later this month at the end of this month i think they will be offered plea deals possibly if it's something that they're willing to accept um then that'll be the end of it they'll get this plea deal and whatever you know they'll have to serve community service or they'll be on probation or whatever they are offered but if they're offered something that they don't want to take they can ask that they go to trial so they can prove their case. Yes, Joshua and James. So you guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and end this video since we talked about that and then I'm gonna come back on another live where we can just chit chat and hang out. How's that sound? Because that's kind of like all that happened today. It wasn't a lot on the 20, Ninth, the twenty the twenty ninth is the next court date, I do believe. On the twenty ninth, I'll come back and give you guys an update on what happened that day as well. I'm sure I'll be getting my information from probably like the Ashley. I may call the clerk of court that day to see what happened. So that's what I'll do. I'll when I get the information that day, I'll hop on here and let you guys know probably that night after I get the kids to bed. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this live and then I'm gonna come right back and we're just gonna do a hangout live. How's that sound? 
Okay, um, you're my TMZ. <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. All right, on your way out, if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up, and I will be back in two seconds. Bye, everyone.